October 23, 1875. A baby was born in Massachusetts who would invent a way to draw molecules so simple that high school students still use it today, but his colleagues hated it because it was too easy to understand. Gilbert Newton Lewis was obsessed with chemical bonds. Why do atoms stick together? Everyone had theories, but nobody could explain it simply. In 1916, Lewis proposed something revolutionary, represent valence electrons as dots around element symbols. Two dots shared between atoms. That's a covalent bond. It sounds obvious now, but it was radical then. His Lewis dot structures transformed chemistry from abstract philosophy into something you could literally draw on paper. But he did more. He coined the term photon in 1926, the word for particles of light that Einstein had theorized. He pioneered thermodynamics. He trained five Nobel Prize winners in his lab at Berkeley. But Lewis himself was nominated 35 times for the Nobel Prize and never won. Some believe a personal rivalry with Walther Nernst, who had influence on the Nobel Committee, blocked him repeatedly. In 1946, Lewis died in his laboratory after an experiment with hydrogen cyanide leaked. The man who made chemistry visuals spent his last day doing chemistry. Every Lewis structure you've ever drawn, H2O, CO2, CH4, exists because he refused to make science complicated when it could be simple. You learned his dot structures in chemistry class. You use his word photon every time you talk about light. He was nominated for a Nobel 35 times. He never won. Subscribe if that just made you angry at the Nobel Committee.